we are looking at uh, metastasis of uh, malignant tumor, the roots in this video. Earlier we have covered uh, lymphatic, there are three actually, lymphatic, then you have, uh, we have lymphatic root, then we have hematogenous root which we will look in this video and then we have body cavities, natural passages also which can spread metastasis which can lead to metastasis, which help in metastasis. Now, let us look at hematogenous spread of malignant tumors. Okay. What we should know here is mainly for sarcomas this happens. Sarcomas this happen mainly. We are not generalizing. Main, usually sarcomas. Sarcomas, that is sarcomas are of what origin? Sarcomas are usually mesenchymal in origin. Okay. Now, the blood carries the metastasis, the blood carries the neoplasm to liver, lung, brain, bone, kidney, adrenal gland. The blood carries the neoplasm to liver, lung, brain, bone, kidney, adrenal gland. This is because of these sites, they provide a very good soil for the growth of these seeds. This is the seed soil theory. However, spleen will not give any um, site, will not give site, okay, it is unfavorable. Spleen is unfavorable site, okay. Now, let us look at some specific things. The systemic veins, they carry the... Uh, blood from the limbs, the head, the neck, the pelvis, almost everything into the vena cava, right? Obviously, it drains everything into the vena cava. These, uh, therefore, the cancers of these sites more often metastasize to the lungs. So, okay, lungs get affected because of systemic veins. Now, coming to the next thing, portal veins. The portal veins drain the bubble, spleen, pancreas into the liver. They drain into what? Into the liver. They drain it into the liver. So, they are often affecting the liver. The metastasis, that is the spread happens to the liver. Now, coming to the next pulmonary vein. Now, pulmonary vein actually has oxygenated blood, correct? It has oxygenated blood and it is taking the blood from the lungs to the heart. And uh, hence, what can come is the lung neoplasm lung tumor can spread to other parts of the body. Then coming to arterial spread, these are rare because the artery walls are very thick, okay. Then you have the retrograde spread by blood, retrograde spread by blood, retrograde spread by blood. This is um, unusual, at unusual sites due to retrograde speed, that is like if there is any venous obstruction, backward flow if it happens, then there can be this retrograde spread by blood, okay. In venous, in venous obstruction, okay. Fine. Now, let us move on to some more details here. Grossly, what will you see and microscopically, what will you see? Gross and microscopic features of... Uh, hematogenous spread of metastasis. Grossly, the blood-borne metastasis in an organ appear as multiple rounded nodules of varying size scattered throughout the organ. So, here they are talking about the organ which has been, which has got affected. The uh, no, organ will be no, having nodules. Size can be, of the nodules can be varying. The tumor itself, the secondary tumor which has become in this organ, affected organ, this tumor can be bigger than the primary uh, tumor, interestingly, and it might come to the attention of the clinician first, okay, can be bigger, the tumor can be bigger than primary tumor, okay. They can come to the attention of the clinician first, the secondary tumor may be detected first and these can further metastasize. 
just like the primary tumor these can further further these also can metastasize okay coming to microscopic features we have primary tumor and secondary tumor right now the secondary deposits they can be similar to the structure of primary tumor they can be different also because based on the surrounding local environment they can be different okay they can be different in microscopic appearance they can have varying grades of differentiation because of local environment and local factors okay that's all about hematogenous spread so we have covered hematogenous spread here usually sarcomas uh, will follow this route hematogenous spread what parts of the body are affected the lungs the liver other parts of body are affected there is a seed soil theory which explains that these sites provide a good soil for the growth of these seeds seed soil theory spleen is unfavorable site so you will not see a metastatic spread to a spleen systemic veins portal veins pulmonary veins all these are going to help in the spread of these um, tumors arterial spread is rare unless you have some thin capillaries in the pulmonary system retrograde spread by blood can happen if there is venous obstruction grossly what you see is the affected organs will become nodular the affected organs will become nodular the tumor the secondary tumor may be bigger than the primary tumor and it can come to the attention of the clinician first and these tumors can further metastasize okay microscopically you will see that the secondary deposits can resemble the primary deposit or they can be different and have varying grades of differentiation based on the local environment that is microscopically what you will see so far we covered the lymphatics and the uh, hematogenous spread now let us move on to the last one here along body cavities and natural passages not much here that we want to say it can spread via the transcelomic um, cavity or it can spread along the epithelium lined surfaces it can spread via cerebrospinal fluid and it can also spread by implantation scalpel needle sutures also can carry the neoplasm even contact like uh, lower lip is affected and always upper lip is in contact with lower lip it will spread from lower lip to upper lip okay that is contact so we have covered um, the metastasis of a malignant tumor the roots we have covered in the next video we want to cover the mechanism okay